All right, I'm going to spend a couple, about an hour or so on this, just cleaning up the uh, clay. I'm adding just one more little detail to this guy's hair. Uh, something has bothered me about it, and I didn't think I had it well enough done on this one little part here. And I wanted to correct it. All right, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. doing a little detail on his ear here. I'm just uh, putting the final touches on the uh, clay, looking for things that need to be corrected or finished, and uh, doing what I can to do just exactly that. I thought I'd add a necklace to his neck. And a shell attached to the necklace. Yes, I took the uh, braid off. I'm going to redo the braid. I had to be able to reach in here. Now I'm filling in behind the shell because it's got to be able to be molded without any deep undercuts. This ain't as easy as it looks. That's part of the strap that goes over his shoulder. And uh, I think I just covered up the other strap, so I'm going to redo that one. That's what he's holding under his hand that's uh, bunched up down here below his hand is a strap that would fit over his back shoulder. Okay, I'm going to reattach the uh, braids.
Okay, I just put another piece of clay in here. I've got to get this uh, filled in too. Can't have it too deep. thing about filling in is you got to make it look like it hasn't been filled in. <laughs> That's the hard part. Alright, uh, it's finished. And I'm ready to take it to the uh, foundry next week. I, I think I'll tell you the story behind this one. I, I developed the story as I was working on it. This is a crow warrior who's uh, standing watch over his village. He's been joined by a camp dog, a uh, one who's attached himself to the warrior. And he's uh, been standing watch overnight. He's wrapped himself in this trade blanket and uh, had his weapons uh, next to him as he sat there on the uh, rocks above the village. Getting ready to go back to the village. Uh, somebody else is coming up to relieve him of the watch. And uh, the dog has noticed something off in the distance. And uh, the warrior is alerted to it as well. And what he sees off in the distance is a glint of metal. Shining the sun, the morning sun shining off of metal and he knows that this is a indication that the uh, U.S. cavalry is coming their way and that's uh, why he's looking a little serious and uh, grabbing his weapons getting ready to notify the village. Night Sentinel, that's the name of the piece. It measures uh, 16 inches tall by 16 inches wide. And let's see how deep it is. By 11 inches, no, actually 14 inches deep. Pretty substantial piece of bronze that when this gets cast. All right, everybody. Good night. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.